Hey everyone, welcome to Being Classy. My name is Jessica and in this video I want to show you how to easily move columns or rows in Microsoft Excel. I will be showing you how to do this on Microsoft Excel Office 365 on a MacBook Air. If you are using a Windows PC, Microsoft Excel application, or Microsoft Excel on the web, or a mobile device, it may be a little different, but the processes are the same. All right, so right now I'm within my sheet and I'd like to move my column C to the B area. So instead of just copying um, by selecting the row, selecting, copying, pasting, and then deleting everything, there's an easy way to do this. What you need to do is you need to highlight the column or row that you would like to move. So I would like to move my C column to B column. So I'm going to highlight my C column, which is selecting my mouse on C on the top so the whole column is grayed out. Now on my keyboard, I'm going to press the shift button and then I'm going to use my mouse to locate the ending of my column, the little green line. Now on my MacBook Air, you'll notice that it's a little hand. If you're using a different application, it might be like a little black cross, but navigate right over that green line and then with your mouse, click down and drag that line to the column you'd like to place it at. So you'll notice now B is highlighted as gray. And when I let it go, my what was a C column is now my B column. Now you could do the same if I would like to move uh, my row two, I'm going to again highlight the row um, by pressing on the number on the left hand side and I'll know it's highlighted because it's all gray and then click the shift button on that row and then navigate to your green line. Again, on the MacBook, it's that little hand. Once that hand is there or the black plus sign, click on that and then move it down. You'll notice it's being moved because the line is moving. I'd like it to be down here. And now Paul is moved to row six. All right, everyone, that is how you easily move a row or a column within Microsoft Excel without doing the copy and paste. I hope this trick helped. If it was helpful, please like this video, share it out with anyone else who may benefit from it, and don't forget to subscribe to Being Classy. My name is Jessica, and I will catch you in the next video.